Chris Farley like Jackie Brown. Ooh, hey, you, I wanna know if she too down. Will you be my leading lady? I wanna country. Hey you guys, it's Miss Macavilli, and I'm back with another video. Today I will be showing y'all how I prep for my hair appointments. Today after work, I'm supposed to be doing a head. And so I'm gonna show y'all how I pre prepare my space my home, my environment, just to get my hair business done. So y'all stay tuned and I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so this is my living room area. It's not the cleanest right now. It's not the dirtiest, but it's sure ain't the cleanest. And just in case, um, since I'm doing a child's hair, I'm sure their parents is gonna wanna be here while I'm doing it. That's just usually how it goes, y'all. Just moving everything. I do got some guts uh, from my guards, like right here. To begin, I'm just about to um, give me a trash bag started. I just use a regular grocery bag. And I'm just picking up all my trash. That box right there has some decorations that I want to put up in my room. I just needed some better nails for it. And I also need to get a better extension cord for this. But it gets the job done for now. Okay, y'all. And usually I do do hair right here. So I can have like the table right here. Let's clean up. and this stuff is so good this is what i detail my car with and clean out my car with it's the truth y'all all and i bought this from the dollar tree y'all it was five dollars at dollar tree what I need to clean this out and start using it for real. Y'all, I do have a second restroom, but I really don't use it right now. Um, it's not decorated. It don't really got nothing in it because the majority of the time it is just me and my son is still potty training in that other room and bathroom would be for him and guests. But because it is majority me just here, I haven't messed with it like at all. So we finna go to my room, straighten it up, making it look decent, but just in case somebody got to use the restroom. What I'm finna do is just make up my bed real quick.
sheets got washed that I need to put them on. And my restroom is a little bit of a mess, y'all. I'm not going to cap. But... vinegar and water and I get all my cones so I get everything I take all the hair on it I put it back over I'm gonna just fill this up with hot water, hot water, majority hot, you know. I'm gonna get these, um, bring them down with the vinegar and water solution. I'm gonna put a tip here. Then I get me the pizza. I'm kind of just going to go in and clean the palm. Spreading in between the teeth like this. Get them all clean. Right, that's what we have in there. I just let them all soak in the sink. For about 10 minutes and I'll come back when they're done. So I just got them soaking in there like that. Come back. I get a paper towel and I just lay it out flat. And I'm going to run some water while I do this. And I'm going to rinse them off. Hot water. I usually go as hot as you can because, you know, hot water kills bacteria and just extra bacteria, you know, because I did have them sitting. You know, trying to soak off all that extra build up and dirt and stuff that I broke off with the Q tip and loosened up and stuff. So you just rinse it off. And I just lay them on the nest. Give this to me, y'all. Wait. Yeah. This is what the bathroom giving y'all. Just a nice little one too in here for the guests. I usually do my hair in this general area. 
I usually have the person, you know, sit right here so they can you know, use the table if they need to for anything. And I usually will get my stand here. And I usually place it, I usually don't like to put my chair right next to the table so I could like maneuver around the person. So I like to give myself, you know, a body's width, <laughs> a space. And on my table here, I'm gonna show y'all what I put on my table. So stay tuned. Use setting foam. The setting foam that I've been using is the Olive Miracle Anti-Breakage Formula Salon Quality Care Non-Flaking Foam Setting Mousse. It's, it's cool. It gets the job done. And I use clips for when I pre-part my hair and I like to, you know, already have my sections ready. I got me a wide tooth comb for detangling in case I need to. I got this little comb for smoothing and, you know, cleaning up my parts if I need to. And then I just got an additional comb for parting and such. Rat tail. And then I got these two clips to hold like big majority, like groups of hair. I got some gel. And this is my bucket to dip the hair and I just keep this on the table. Okay, and I usually position my ring light like behind my little work area and stuff so I can, you know, get a good view of the head. But yeah, I did have a braiding rack, y'all. But since I no longer have that, I probably, uh, I usually use just like a secondary chair to, you know, uh, set my sections of hair so I could just grab it, grab it, do my thing. You did. But that's pretty much it. That's, uh, I know I usually get a towel to, you know, dry off the hair after I get done. If I'm doing a specific style that requires like rollers and stuff like that, then I will bring that out and have it already as well. My little braided wristband. So whenever, instead of, you know, putting the gel on my hand so it'll dry up, leave a residue, get runny, whatever. I just use my little band. So that's it, y'all. Hopefully, if y'all um, didn't do any of these things before y'all did y'all's heads and clients' hair, um, hopefully y'all learned something and was able to take something that I do into your own practices and then make it easier for y'all. If y'all have any tips, tricks, or products that y'all recommend me using and investing in, please leave them in the comments down below so I can take a look at those and add them to my list. And uh, I love convenience. I love stuff that makes it easier and gets the job done quicker, y'all. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.